the Hydrogen and Oxygen by Kevin Gerke and David Lynch. We wanted to find out if you could split water into hydrogen and oxygen because we are both very interested in water and what you can do with it. We're going to do a project and to see if you can split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The materials we will use are drinking glass with warm water, a 9 volt battery, two pencils with the erasers removed, a small piece of cardboard, a teaspoon of salt, two electrical wires. Now I'd like to introduce my partner, Kevin Gerke, who will be demonstrating the project for us. Kevin Gerke, and I'm here to show you how you really split water into hydrogen and oxygen. First, we sharpen two pencils on both ends, okay? Then, we po poked two holes in the cardboard and stuck them in like so, okay? Now we're going to want about a teaspoon of salt into the hot water, hot tap water. And then we're going to put this over it. Now, I know you guys all want me to connect the wires, but before we do, let's review our hypothesis. We think the hydrogen will gather around the pencil and the oxygen will go into the air because oxygen is all over the air and the oxygen from the water will join the oxygen with the rest of the air. The hydrogen will stay in the water because there is not much hydrogen in the air for the, hy for the hydrogen in the water to join. Now remember, safety first. Now, young children and pregnant women, you might want to stand back. As you can see, I'm connecting the wires. Doing the negatives. Now, let's take a closer look. Science. Now, as you can see on the negative side of the battery, the purple pencil, we got your hydrogen. Now, as you know, on the periodic table, hydrogen is the lightest element of all the elements. That's why it is rising to the top, why the bubbles are rising to the top. Now, as you can see on the positive side of the battery, the pink pencil, we got your chlorine. Now, since we put in the salt in, the chlorine is sticking to the pencil, and the bubbles are not moving because chlorine weighs more than hydrogen. And now, let's reintroduce my partner, David, to explain about the results and conclusion. <laughs> I will be stating our conclusion. The hydrogen gathered to the pencil was the negative charged battery. Chlorine from the salt gathered around the positive charged pencil. The hydrogen and chlorine from and chlorine both made bubbles. The hydrogen is lighter, so it went up to the surface. The chlorine wasn't as light, so it stayed around the pencils. The oxygen combined with the salt and stayed as the water. The water was basically oxygen, salt, and maybe a little bit of hydrogen. Now, we will be saying our results. We found out that it is possible to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Since hydrogen is the first on the periodic table, it is the lightest element. The hydrogen is lighter than the oxygen and chlorine, so it rose to the surface. The oxygen mixed with the salt and stayed as the rest of the water without much hydrogen. We couldn't tell the difference between the H2O and oxygen and chlorine, so we didn't find exactly what we were looking for. We got to see the hydrogen rise up to the surface, which was pretty neat. Now we'll be talking to Kevin to see where we got these, the resources to find out what we'd use for our project. Kevin again, to talk about your resources. We used 
www.allsciencefairprojects.com to choose our topic. And may I suggest that is a very good website. And we use www.formalstanford.education to find information on hydrogen and what happened. To back that information up, we used Funk and Wingo's new encyclopedia, book number 27, page 85. And that concludes our project on splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen by Kevin Gerke and David Lynch. I'm Kevin Gerke, signing out.